Hello everyone, it is Vixen, and I just wanted to share this little get ready with me. Um, I had brunch with my friends, and it was a lovely time. And I just did a really quick makeup look. We are starting by filling in the brows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And as usual, all products will be listed below in order of use. Now I'm just applying primer with my finger and blending it out. And then I'm also going to go in with a concealer um, beneath my brow bone, or on my brow bone rather. And I'm going to spread that out with a tiny brush and then set that with a translucent powder. That's just going to make the transition between the uh, dark brown shade I'm going to use um, more seamless and spread easier. Once I have that all spread out, I am going to take a dark brown matte shade and this is going to be my transition color. I am going to put that in the shape that I'm going for. It's a um, like a C, but we're not doing very defined shapes. This is mostly just to kind of make my eyelids look even. Once the color is down, I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy brush, just spreading everything out. And after that is where I want it to be, I am going to go in with the focus shade of this look, which is this pretty green pigment that I got from Shop Miss A. I am going to use a kind of small concealer brush to focus that on my mobile lid area. Um, I'm doing that to make sure that they are similar in shape, but also to focus most of the color on that area. And once I have the color packed on just the right uh, amount to the right intensity that I want, I am going to blend out the edges with a fluffy brush. I use the matte putty primer from e.l.f. where my pores are most visible. And I put the hydrating primer from e.l.f. everywhere else on my face and made sure to rub both of those in. Now I'm just going in with my foundation on my finger. I am doing a pretty light coverage today, so all I did was dot it around my face and then I'm using a flat top brush to blend it in. Once I have it all blended down, I'm going to use my concealer again to do some highlighting in the normal points that I normally do highlighting, so my nose, forehead, um, beneath the eye and my cheeks. Uh, I'm going to use the same brush that I use for my foundation to make sure I don't have any harsh, harsh edges where I blended everything. And then I'm going to use a dry beauty sponge to kind of uh, blot everything down to take away a little bit of the shine and make sure everything's melted in. And then I'm going to go over all of that with a translucent powder once again just to set everything down. So we are going back to the eyes. First, I am putting on some primer on my lower lash line, and I'm just going to bring the uh, brown shade beneath my lashes. For my top lashes, I did do a liner, a winged out liner. I kept it relatively thin, you know, relatively tame, because y'all know I like to do some thick, liner and while they are not symmetrical they're still cute but I kept it pretty thin and then I went in with mascara for both my top and bottom lashes just for a little something cute I went ahead and did two little dots beneath my eyes um, it was just something small 
but it added a little something something you know For my inner corner highlight, I am using a white eyeshadow that has some green reflex in it. And I thought this was perfect. And I'm also gonna use that for my overall face highlight. So for my forehead, nose, um, cheeks, brow bone. And uh, I did go a bit ham on the face by accident, but then I just used my foundation brush too. Uh, blend that out a little bit yeah yeah there you go and then finally for the lips I used a liquid lipstick from black moon cosmetics this stuff is intense like that's just one coat but uh yeah and this is the look um I hope you enjoyed this short little video and let me know if you want to see me do more get ready with me's because it sounds like fun and uh yeah i will see y'all in the next video bye bye